hi, you know, one of the things that you want to think about when you are looking at investing in real estate is there's certain factors that you want to think about. Number one, how am I going to sell this property? And I put selling first before I even talk about buying, of course, then factor number two is how am I going to buy the property that I'm going to be selling? And number three, of course, how am I going to finance the property that I'm going to be purchasing? And one of the things that I love is the fact that I've been able to create my business by not going to the bank and not qualifying for loans. And one of the cool things is I discovered that I don't have to go to the bank. And the reason is I bought my first house when I was 18 years old by not going to the bank and not qualifying for a loan. I found out I could take over existing financing on the property. I later discovered that many times sellers would carry back financing, making it possible for me to buy their property a lot easier, a lot safer, and a lot less expensive because I didn't have all the expenses that you typically have when you're qualifying for a loan and having to pay the bank all of their expenses. And so when you look at how to do this business and do it right, those are the main factors to consider. Where am I going to find my customer? Well, we created a system called the House Monster where we can find deserving families regardless of credit or financial background, and we can help them end up with home ownership. Now, to me, that's a better customer than a tenant. A tenant is just looking to live in your property and pay you rent for your property. I'm looking for someone that eventually wants to own that home. So I'm looking at them from a different point of view, the possibility that can happen in their life of ending up with home ownership. I'm going to get a better client. They're going to want to pay me and they're going to want to fix up the property too, to their own specifications and tastes. I love that. That's the kind of customer I want. I want somebody who wants to send us a check and leave us alone. <laughs> and isn't that what the bank has with a mortgage? You send them a check, they leave you alone. You leave them alone. <laughs> you just keep sending them a check. I like that program. And I want to teach you how to do that as well. So those are the factors that I look at in real estate investing. And then, of course, how do you find the properties? Well, we believe in building a community-based business where you can find customers in that community that you can both buy from and sell to. They just don't know each other and they don't know your business. So the, the ability to find a customer, find out how much they want, how much they can afford, how much they have to put down on a property and what their skills are, how they can do some things, painting, cleaning, whatever, and then finding a seller that wants to get rid of their property. Maybe it has less than perfect condition and they want to get rid of the property now instead of later. They don't want to spend all the money on fixing up the property. They just want to be rid of the property. We come along and because we already have a customer for that property, we definitely can buy it. And so we can buy it right. We can buy it cheap. We have a whole system around how we negotiate with the sellers to get them exactly what they need to make the deal work. And then finally, the financing. Well, let me introduce you to an idea. The seller is the bank. And I want to teach you exactly how that works. We have an event. It's called the Millionaire Jumpstart. It's a three-day training where I go through soup to nuts, exactly what to do, exactly how to do it with all those factors in real estate. And I look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, baby.